Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart, and today I have a pretty huge haul of random stuff to share with you from random places. The first is Cricut.com, and with I'm part of the Cricut Circle, so I get free shipping and I get a 10% discount. So they had a pretty big sale on some cartridges I didn't have, and because the sale was so good, I went ahead and broke down and got them. So for $75 shipped, which includes tax, I got the new penny mats, which are supposed to be wonderfully sticky. We will see. So I got those. I got four-legged friends. And the thing that's funny about this is there's all kinds of friends on here that don't have legs, like the bird. and Well, I guess the bird has legs, but the fish... So, but anyway, the, the images are really cute. So I went broke down and got it. It was $14.95. Can't go wrong with that. I got Summer Celebrations, which is a fairly new cartridge. And I've been kind of eyeing it, but I didn't want to pay 30 bucks. I was hoping that Autumn Celebrations would be on sale too, but it wasn't. I went ahead and got this. It was $14.95. And this one, super cute. Has lots of great summer images. So that one was a good find a couple oldies but goodies which once these you know are no longer in the store they will be very difficult to find this one I was shocked to find I didn't have this one this is called live simply and this has some really cute kind of whimsical images so I was excited to get this one and that was also $14.95 this one was also $14.95 bloom this is one I didn't have and I actually needed a cut that was on here very recently and I couldn't believe I didn't have this one so I was really really happy to see it and this was also $14.95 so great great deal there I also got from eBay and these are out of print also is Pooh and Friends I have the Pooh font but I don't have Pooh and Friends and I don't know why I didn't get it but I didn't. So I got this on eBay. Um, shipping, with shipping, it was $20. So it's a retired cartridge. So I kind of felt good about that. Let me get this stuff out of the way. I went to... Let me get some stuff here. I went to Michael's. And I didn't get a lot of things at Michael's. But one of the things I got was this Martha Stewart bow punch. All their punches were 40% off, and then I got an additional 15% for being a teacher. And I saw some people use this bow punch, and I thought, how cute. And then I found out that the new Cricut Artiste cartridge has a bow in it, so, you know, whatever, which I ordered, and I, I'll be getting later this month. But, oh, well, I have the punch. might be cute to use, especially during the holidays. So I got that. Um, and then I got a really huge haul from Stampin' Up. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Stampin' Up haul to show you guys what I got. It's pretty big. Let's see. Here. Here, here. And I guess that's it for now. Now, I got the holiday ornaments bundle it's going to be in the winter catalog and it was back ordered so they just i just received it and it's in the other room but this is the framelits that come with it, it comes with a stamp the stamp and it's um it's a pretty big stamp set it actually comes in two of these plastic containers but i'll open the framelits so you actually can see Kind of what it looks like and these i i like the framelits kind of like spellbinder dies i wish that stampin up had not gone with physics i wish they had gone with hovercraft sorry just a little wish of mine um but yeah so i got the stamp set that goes with this also and i thought this was really cute might be really fun to use for the holidays maybe make some ornaments decorate packages do tags make cards so I got that. Stampin' Up! has a new foam-based stamp pad. And I'm not planning on replacing all of my pads because that would be crazy expensive. But I had to replace one of them. And I want to show you what happened to my stamp pad. This is so grody. Okay. I don't know if you can see it in there. 
I don't know what the dealio is with that, but that is so nasty. So I had to buy a new one because it was grossing me out. I don't know what was happening with that. So I will be throwing this one away because I bought a new one. So I got that new one. I got the Biddy Banners. Let's see if I have the stamp set. So here's a stamp set called Itty Bitty Banners. And then there's some framelits that go with this. So you get the different frames. It's also done like spell binders. So I got those. I liked this one a lot. This is a Chevron embossing folder. And I know that that Cuddlebug came out with one, but I had already ordered this. So that one's really cute. And I like this one. This is a stamp set called No Peeking. And every year they tend to have like kind of one little stamp set that's very similar that has like three or four images and maybe one or two sentiments. And it's kind of cutesy. So I always get it. And this is um, No Peeking. Very cute. And again, these are all going to be in the new um, catalog, the winter catalog. Let's see what else is in the winter catalog. <clears throat> this one, Friendship Preserves. And the um, label types here go with the Stampin' Up! Um, framelits, the labels that they had that came out last year, which I think was the first time that they did the framelits. So I went ahead and got this. At first I was like, eh, do I want it? Because it comes with like a preserves bundle, which I didn't care for the stamp set that went with that. Um, but I like this, especially the thanks a bunch and the hello. So I can make some of this stuff work. So I got that one. And then this is from the regular catalog, and it's called Embellished Events. And I saw that you could use um, rhinestones and pearls and maybe little tiny buttons and things to embellish, and I thought that was cute. So I got that. And then they had a special deal where if you spent 50 bucks, you could buy the Reason to Smile for $5. So I'm a sucker for a good deal. So I went ahead and I bought this one. It was $5. And then they have a new piercing mat, which I went ahead and got. I still have my old uh, chick stand. She doesn't sell these anymore, and it's all tiny, and it's all beat the heck up. Um, so I broke down and, and got a bigger one because they're selling these piercing, I guess probably like these. These are like needlepoint ones that I had bought years ago. So they're they're coming out with stuff like this. So they have like a bigger piercing mat if you want to do something like that. This is too much work for me. But I got the mat for like poking holes. So there's that. And I also got um I don't know if I like this. The Stampin' Up Stylus. I don't really know if I like it. But anyway, I got it. So I have it. And then they had, so I thought, and look at it, it came all scrunched. That kind of sucks. I'm not bummed about that, but oh well. Um, I guess I'll make it work. So I'm going to open this up and let you guys take a peek at it. I hope it's sealed at the top. This is the Festival of Prints Designer Series Paper Pad. And it is four and a half by six and a half. They don't tend to make pads like these, and so I was kind of excited to get it. And so this has a lot of fun stuff that you could use for the holidays, but I can see uses for other times of the year. It doesn't have to be just holidays. There's some stuff in there that would be good for Valentine's Day or just whatever. So I got this because I – see, this edge is all scrunched. But anyway, I liked um, – I like the smallness. I'm trying to stay away from buying too much Stampin' Up! paper because I just tend not to use it. I don't know. I just prefer little paper pads instead. So that's why I got this because I love the fact that these little paper pads and it's just much easier for me to use up. So I think that's everything that I just got recently. I have a gigantic order from Stop and Scrap uh, pre-order stuff of new things that came out for CHA. So when I receive that in the next month or so, I'll be sure to post a haul. Oh, one last thing that I forgot to mention is I got the Stampin' Embossing Powder in Peppermint Six. It's scented in Peppermint. So I've never used the scented powders before, but I thought that would be fun. So I went ahead and bought that. So 
thank you very much for watching my little haul today. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. And I'm saying.